Hello traders, it's Tuesday, July 19th, 2011. My name's Des here at Croc Trade, and the markets are up big time. We have Dow up over 200 points, up 1.63%, the S&P up 1.63%, and NASDAQ and Russell's leading the charge, up over 2.2%, almost 2.3% here on the Russell's, very nice. Bank rallied back it was lagging first thing this morning i was worried about the market's strength going into the noon hour however it started to rally back giving support to the markets as a whole and giving some putting some wind under the wings here have gold down silver down u.s dollar down 0.23 percent and the crude oil up 1.76 percent transportation up but not giving very much support here to the dow and the trend at 0.63%. So there is a chance of a of this rally coming to a halt tomorrow due to the trend being so bullish at the close. But here we are. Look at this. The S&P daily. Boom. Busting up over the 20-day and the 50-day moving averages and a lot of resistance. Really rounding out the day quite strong. We're in right in the middle part of this big symmetrical triangle. You can see the triangle with my blue lines coming here, and we are heading northbound. The problem is we have not crossed over the histogram on the MACD. This is the MACD using the filter 5, 9, and 2. And uh, this centered oscillator is still reading bearish. However, we do have a crossover taking place. We do have a positive tick on the histogram, but we are sub-zero of the zero line. Not overly the best. Today was huge. We had Goldman Sachs coming out with earnings, and we have a gap down run up. And you can see that I did enter a small position here of Goldman Sachs. So I'm in Goldman Sachs right now. I think that we have specialist behavior. Anytime you see this, especially on this much volume, usually indicative of a bottom being put in. Put in. However. I don't know that, so I only did a third of position on this one. And Bank of America also reported we are still underwater on this one. We're still dropping lower high, lower low. Big, big volume, though, so we might have capitulation taking place here at this low. So something to be watching for. So this could also be a low. And then we have WFC, which is Wells Fargo, doing extremely well on some really nice volume. Big pop here over the 20 and 50-day moving averages. So we have some strength taking place on the financials, and the financials desperately needed this. And, and thus, the markets needed it. And that is where we're at. Here's the NASDAQ. Take a look at this. Boom! Big pop. NASDAQ just went into positive territory. It's great to see, but we have resistance knocking at the door at 2836. You can see that right there. So be watching for that resistance. And then the Russells, the big pop, overall major moving averages, no immediate resistance. However, I do want to add a line right there. And I would say that would be our next area of resistance. 847, 848 is it. There it is. So, a couple things for you. I want you to look at this. We have, when you go to our website, please click on the, this button right here, like, and like us. I would certainly appreciate that. And also, there all the YouTube viewers, please click like. It only takes you a second. Take care and safe trading.